So you can see that there are two uh, distinct approaches, uh, or if you like, disciplinary bases to the writing that appears in the general sort of area of business or management. Now, you have to understand where you are in terms of writing a paper, but when you come to be a reviewer for a paper, uh, likewise, you've got to know what it is that the author is about, where they place themselves uh, in terms of the academic disciplines uh, that they might choose for their work. And if you're looking at a paper which is a social science paper in business, then you must evaluate it strictly in social science terms. And so sometimes you get, you get a bit of a confusion uh, because people think that their paper, which is a social science paper and is about factual matters, is simply uh, enough to be able to establish some sort of point of view or some argument in the practical world. It never is. It never is uh, because you can't derive an ought to be from a what is uh, because trying to do that, uh, you don't have a moral principle involved and so consequently uh, your paper becomes confused uh, it doesn't achieve what it's trying to do. If you're going to write in a complex area and ultimately you want to include um, some factual matters, some social science work in your paper, which is basically for a persuasive purpose, uh, then it's best to write two papers. It's best to do one paper uh, that relates to your empirical work done in accordance with social science methods uh, put that out as a paper, and then write another paper uh, that refers to that work, but puts it in the context uh, of a persuasive position, uh, and, and which will be then judged as a part uh, of a work which essentially derives its standards from the humanities.